Pull up the anchor, we are leaving. Dry land. Get below deck with a... Oh, my apologies. Welcome to the latest video. Today we're building a pirate ship. I know. Different. Before we start, I'd just like to say thank you to DTD Gamer for showcasing my camp and for sharing my Quidditch pitch. Really has helped my channel out a lot. Those of you who've never watched DTD Gamer, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Pop on over there, have a look at his stuff. You've probably all seen him before. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Right guys, I'll be the first to admit I am not the best at building pirate ships. I've done a couple, but they're not my forte really. In the description, I'll leave a link to one of my friends, his YouTube channel, he showcases his pirate ships. Him, his wife and his son have got a fleet of them. All down this river here. And the bloody amazing to be fair to them. But this is just a guide to get you going. So I'll show you where we are. We're just here. Up from that ill four cot dogs. And you can choose anywhere on this river, but this is a good one because it looks like it's fought and you don't have to join any foundations to the to the shore. So we'll start off with something like this. Three wide I usually go. And there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can either go straight up at the sides with walls, all the way down, which is what I like to do. Or you can do it another way, let me find them with the roofs like that so instead of being three wide you'd be one wide and then you'd have the roofs coming up like that so it'll give you that like it's got a keel on it but I can do it but I don't really like that design to be honest with you no disrespect to anybody else but it's just not me anyway I just use wooden walls on these you can use steel you can, well, you can use whatever you want but anyway let's get started so you want to start off just by putting walls all the way down. I'm going to say to about there. And on this side as well. All the way down. Like that. Just going to leave one empty there. Now we are at the back. This is going to be our stern. And we want it to come up at an angle. So what we do, we get a wall, place it down. We get a flat roof, but I sat on top. Delete this here. Get one of these angly walls, like that. And you're in. Remove the roof. Remove that. Done. Then with this side, wall, roof. Delete the foundation, which it won't let me do. If it doesn't let you delete it, same old trick turn that into a doorway ah right now I know why it's doing this that is because that foundation there if I was to remove that it wouldn't be joined to the land so going back on what I said earlier we're going to have to plop a foundation if it'll wet there just so like that should be able to do this again and delete this there we go then in here put that slanted wall in delete the roof delete that delete that now in that situation there's not much you can do really because um, you can't put them on with a foundation underneath it I don't know why but you know one of them things but then I'm going to get this roof and snap it to the outside there. That will allow us to put roofs all the way along. What you'll notice though, you can't delete that. So the way around that, let's get your stairs and start building your deck. This is going to be the deck here. And we're just going to build all the way along. Like that. Not like that. 
That's totally wrong. There we are. And like that. Now this is what I mean about build order being important on this game. As you can see, we can't delete it. I'm just going to stick an extra one there, like that. And I'm going to get a half piece and I should be able to flip it. There you are. If that wasn't in, that would be wallpaper side out. So it wouldn't match the it won't match these walls here. And spin it round. Pop that in. Delete that. Then lo and behold, you can delete that. And that is because it's attached. That roof now is attached by that to the floor, to the stairs, to a foundation. See a lot of people deleting the whole camps when things like that happen, but there's always a way around it. Well, 90% of the time there's a way around it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish doing that there. I'm going to start building this back end up. I'll do half of it and I'll come back and show you how to do it on the other side. Right, so that is the stern done. We'll go inside and I'll show you how to get that result. So all I've done is I've put stairs up, created a floor, and then it's pretty simple building. You're placing a wall on top of a floor, no fancy shapes, dead simple. The only time you may struggle is if you try and place a wall here, it won't let you. And that's because that slanted piece is underneath it. Simple way of doing it. Put a floor down. And all that, yeah. Snap a wall in. And there. Business as usual. Put the last floor in. Put a wall in there. A wall in there. Floor. And some stairs. And this will be where you captain your vessel. Great. So now we're going to do the bow. I do it in a very simple way. Some people, I've seen them actually get it into a point. I don't know the method behind that. So I'm just going to do it the way I know how to do it. This is just a very basic pirate ship that pretty much anybody can build. And they look pretty good, to be fair. If I was to do it again in this video, the location, I would choose a different place. For the pure and simple reason, it isn't long enough. I'd like another foundation there, but I can't because it's out of the build area. On the last one I did, I had this bit here going into the finer point there. And then again the same there, but I just do not have the room. So we're going to have to work with what we've got. Now on this point we do need to build quite a lot of framework to get it to work. So we're going to start by putting a half, well, slant wall there, like that. And then a slanted roof. We're then going to attach another slanted roof there. We don't want any of this, but you'll notice we can't delete it. Simple way around that is if we put a wall in here like so that roof is no part of that structure which is connected by them stairs to that foundation there so we should in theory be able to delete that and there we go like I said in the ideal world I'd like to put another one on there but I just can't do it here so we're just going to have to crack on now here again, we're going to have to build another, let's call it a scaffold, like that. And then from here, we should be able to put a roof in, like that. Oh, hazmat suits or Chinese stealth suits are a must on these builds. I mean, I took that much rad, you know, just off doing this little bit here. And that's with a hazmat suit on. But anyway, I digress. 
So you're going to be left with that, like that. And again, we want all of that deleted. And there is a way to do it. For the time being, let's carry on. And what we want to put in here are these little bits. So we can put this side on now. Absolutely no issues. Like that. The other side we can't because that slant wall's there. So as daft as this looks, this is the only way to do it that I know of. You get a half wall. In fact, let's see if we can get a floor in there just to make it the right way around, which I don't think we can actually. Ah, there we go. And now we should be able to delete that. And there you go. If that half wall wasn't there, you could not have deleted that. It's daft, but it is a Bethesda game. We can't expect the most, can we? You know what I mean. And then on this side here, we can put that in. And that is what you're going to be left with. Like I say, it's not perfect. In an ideal world, that would be one further forward. And this would also, well, that would be on the end of there. But I've just not got the room. But it doesn't look bad. It's piratey. And we can come and do the same over here. Come on. Like that. We can get our half wall. And throw that in there like that. Plug that gap. There we are. Oh, there you are. What's this coming past? Apologies for the background noise. Never mind. Just a local chav in his... Oh, I don't even know what the hell it is. Limit bashing a Peugeot 106, no doubt. But, you know. Each to their own. And... There you go. You're going to be left with something like that. Now, this front bit here, we can tart it up a little bit. We can make it look a bit more shippish, if that's even a word. But, to be honest with you, I think Johnny Depp would be happy with that. Definitely get some swashbuckling action going on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from the video again. I'm going to see if I can tart that front end up. And then we'll move on to the masts and the rigging, which is really simple actually. As you saw from the photo mode sweeping shot I did then, I've altered the bow a little bit. Same principle as before, build a frame, and then you can get them pieces in. That bit I've just changed from one of the small triangle pieces to one of the big slant walls. I think it looks better like that, but again, personal preference. And now we move on to the masts. Now we're gonna use the same principle as we did on the Quidditch pitch build, if you've seen that. But, as you can see, we can't snap them in. So we need to make the framework, again, to get them in. Let me find the stairs. So you get a staircase, put that in. And a half floor. Like that. Then you want to grab your stair post. Just if it'll let me do it. There we are. Pop that down there. Then we get another, place it on top. And that'll act as a placeholder. Rigging wise, we're going to use conduits. So you want to move that stair post over here from the bottom. 
grab your conduit and we're just going to place it down let's say around there maybe a bit further in right. and place a small one like that, huh? grab the post snap it back in perfect and for the top one same principle spot on there we go and from here you want to get the medium length one one on either side this conduit And then that conduit. Same again on this side. That conduit. And then that conduit. The top one, we're going to use the small ones. Like that. And like that. And then we can put wires down to that. And that's the start of your rigging and your masts. And on the side here, now I'm not sure what they call them, well on ships, but they have rope wrapped around them. And you can run them to that one. Right, let's just move that one to there like that. There you are, you see? It just gives that nautical effect. Like I said, I don't know what the bloody hell they're called, but they have rope wrapped around them. Another benefit of them as well is if you put one generator down there, all this rigging, it'll send power all down your ship. So it's functional as well. But yeah, that's the start of it. So I'll go ahead, I'll put the rest of the masts in. Same kind of principle the same principle. I mean you can do any design you want here, you could put more conduits in across, it's, it's your call. But I'll throw the rest of them in and then we'll move on to the crow's nest. Which a dead simple actually. Back in a tick. And that's the rigging done. Quite difficult to see from here, but when you're on board, you'll you'll be able to get a better idea. I've put one crow's nest up. I'm going to show you how to do the rest. I've also put that little hatch cover thing on. I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's not hard. Now, the first time I built one of these pirate ships, it was very easy to get them crow's nests in, but for some reason, it's been a bit tricky on this one. I'll show you. We'll crack on. So what you need is a small guard post and it should snap in on top of these posts quite nicely. However as you can see, ah there we go, the tactic here is to just spam that X button on PlayStation anywhere. Like that. It's as simple as that. And the middle one, so it's a bit taller. I'm gonna have to build some stairs, I think. And again, it's under defences, and it's the guard post, and we're still not close enough. Got a floor or two in. Not any better? Yeah, much better. And literally, I'm just spamming that build button here until it goes in. There we go. And then what we may be able to do... If I can find it... Is get another stair pass there. Yep, of course we can. There you are, you see. Now I have seen some people... Who have another guard pass on the other side and make them round. But... 
with the difficulty I'm having just getting one in, I'm just going to leave it at that for now. I'll put another up there. And there we go. That's your crow's nest done. You see what I mean? It actually looks like a pirate ship now. Cool little camp. So, we're down to the last stage, which is to put a nice flag up there. And prior to what I said before about putting this post up, we're going to have to get rid of it. Now, the flags I'm using are the Free States ones. And I actually got them in a bundle by accident. Literally waxed, I think it was like 1,200 atom points on something I didn't want, but... They've come in useful. If you don't have these flags, then you may just have to do without a flag. I mean, there is other options available, um, but I think 90% of them are Atom Shop. But if you have the Meat Wheat flag, for example, you could use that. Now, where are we? Where are we? There we go. And you can get these up here as well, but it's a bit of a pain in the backside. As you can see. Ah, what are you doing? Try it there like that. There we go. Come on. There you are, you see? Make yourself a nice flag. And the finishing touch, however it is, is the ship's wheel. And what we're going to use for that? Well, we're going to use the wooden spinning wheel. And you can get this from the White Springs vendor. I think it's 200 and odd caps, I'm not sure. Well, this is literally the only use I've ever found for it. There you go. Make yourself a wheel. Let's get up to my viewing platform. There you are, you see? Pirate ship. I'll go and do a bit of um, decorating. Like I say, I, I never really fill them up because on this account, I don't have many plans, but... I'm going to put some walls in, stick some wallpaper up, give you a quick tour of it, and then it's up to you what you do with it. Catch you in a sec. And that's it. Job done. A ship Captain Barbosa will be happy with. And I've not decorated, as in all my videos, I'll leave that up to you. I'm not being lazy, it's just personal preference. And the fact I'm only level 14 on this character. If you do want to see some decorating I've done, take a look at the A-frame house I did. That's fully decorated. Down here, you've got plenty of room for activities. I've seen people put bunk beds down here, open that up with a garage door, straight out to water, cells, anything, the world's your oyster. I did try to put walls down here, but you can't double wall the wooden set. Changed it to a different set. Went to replace that set once I got them double walled. No, it won't let me build anything. Probably just have to log in, log back out. These bone chimes here really do give it a piratey feel. All the rigging is live, so if you wanted to, you could put lamps there, any form of power you wanted. I've stuck with these. Again, a bit piratey. As Jack Sparrow once said, why is the rum always gone? It's not on this shit. These Nuka Shine barrels, they're full. They are full. 
that's out the build area, just ignore that. Up here you could put a captain's chair, whatever you wanted. And there's your cabin area. Now there's something interesting going on in here. You can't wallpaper shuttered walls. So the way around that is to replace them with a doorway. Put your wallpaper on and change it back to a shutter. Now I had this done all the way through here. I fast travelled to White Springs, came back, no wallpaper. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But that is pretty much it. I hope you've taken something from this video. Thank you for watching. And stay safe.